Today we are exploring the amazing world of Mid-Journey version 5.1, which has just been released, bringing with it a plethora of new features and improvements. In my experience so far, I must say that this update has truly exceeded my expectations, enabling me to create an array of visually stunning images that showcase the versatility and prowess of this powerful tool. As we delve deeper into the intricacies of Mid-Journey version 5.1, we will discuss the various changes and enhancements it offers, such as the addition of Raw Mode, which allows users to fine-tune the level of detail and opinion expressed in their creations. Furthermore, I will guide you through the process of accessing this fantastic update by navigating to the Settings menu and making the necessary adjustments to optimize your user experience. This new version is more opinionated, meaning that it requires less context from the user and can generate captivating images by adding its own creative elements. The creators of Midjourney 5.1 claim that it's much more user-friendly with smaller prompt. If you recall our previous discussions on Midjourney 5, you may remember that it was necessary to provide longer, more detailed, natural language prompts to get the desired outcome. However, with version 5.1, you can now revert to shorter, more fragmented prompts, and the software will intelligently fill in the gaps for you. Now, if you prefer to retain more control and limit the extent to which Midjourney adds its own touch, you have options. You can either stick with version 5.0 or utilize 5.1's new RAW mode. In RAW mode, the software is less opinionated, allowing you to maintain a greater level of creative control without the software contributing as much of its own flair. For those who prefer a more neutral and versatile mid-journey experience, the RAW mode offers a perfect solution. To take full advantage of this feature and create images that align closely with your vision, now I'd like to treat you to a visual comparison between mid-journey version 5 and version 5.1. Many people may be unfamiliar with the comparison process, often repeating prompts and typing them out for each version. Simply copy the seed and use it across both versions. Let's say you want to copy the seed of this picture. Click on the little happy face icon, add reaction, below the image. Next, click on the envelope icon that appears. Once you've clicked the envelope, you'll notice OO in the top left corner. This indicates that the image information has been sent to you. Finally, scroll down to find the message containing the seed number and job ID. I'm going to grab my seed for this most recent image here, but again, this is not likely necessary in your everyday prompting. This is just for comparison's sake. Now I will write my prompt and paste it here, and I will add my seed number for comparison. When generating images with both versions, you can see some notable differences. On the left, we have an image created using version 5.1, and on the right, one from version 5. To be honest, both images look fantastic, and choosing a favorite largely comes down to personal preference. With version 5.1, you'll notice that the software adds a touch of extra creativity, incorporating elements like leaves, flowers, and bubbles in the background. These additional details were not part of the original prompt, but contribute to a more intricate image. On the other hand, version 5 also shows some artistic liberty, but with fewer added elements than 5.1. Now, let's take the same prompt and test it with version 5.1 in RAW mode by removing the V5 and adding dash dash style raw. To the end of the prompt, you can see the results from version 5.1 raw mode, which produces a distinctly different style. Although the software still adds some creative touches like flowers, the level of detail is reduced compared to the previous two images. However, there is one aspect of the images where I feel version 5.1 could be improved, and that's the realism of the faces. In some instances, the facial features appear slightly off, such as the children in one image who unfortunately resemble little goblins. In another, the characters have a more cartoony vibe than a realistic one which may not be ideal for every scenario. But let me tell you, the atmospheres and backgrounds that this software generates are absolutely top-notch, easily scoring a perfect 10 out of 10. The richness of the scenery and the intricate details that come together so harmoniously elevate each image to new heights, capturing the essence of what truly makes art come alive. As I mentioned earlier, the photorealism may not be as polished as it was in version 5.0, but fear not, because switching between versions couldn't be easier. 
All it takes is a simple click of a button to toggle between MJ version 5.0 and 5.1. This means you're not losing anything by upgrading. In fact, you're gaining more options and flexibility in your artistic journey. So if you had any concerns, let me assure you that they're completely unfounded. Embrace the possibilities and take your creativity to new heights with version 5.1.